One problem with being the New York Times, big, lumbering, important, is that you sometimes get in your own way. It happens even when you cover the movies. Every now and then, you find yourself looking at a picture that's looking at you. And that can be awkward. Just such a moment is pending, as the Times prepares to deal with she said, Maria Schrader's film about the Pulitzer Prize winning investigation of Harvey Weinstein and sex abuse by two of its reporters, Jody Kanner and Megan Tuhay. That was a proud enterprise for the paper, the kind of reporting it's supposed to do. But past triumph won't make it any easier for the Times critics and cultural reporters to cover the film when Universal unveils it at the New York Film Festival on October 13, at a world premiere that will find their two colleagues on stage with the actresses who portray them, Zoe Kazan and Carrie Mole. For one thing, there's the obvious potential for conflict of interest, say anything good about the picture, and you're serving yourself. Beyond that, Times insiders know too much about the investigators and their editors, especially ex-executive editor Dean Bakay, played by Andre Brower, and his lieutenant Rebecca Corbett, played by Patricia Clarkson, to simply accept the movie for what it has to be, a somewhat massaged version of R. Already, the staff shared a few titters over the piety and self-importance of the trailer. Go right. It's time to write, commands back in the line was being kicked around the newsroom from the minute the trailer dropped. Maybe it really happened that way. But on the screen, it just feels, well, too perfect. Wisely, in any case, the time seems poised to let its staff critics, including co-chief critics A.O. Scott and Manola Dargis, off the hook. Asked this week whether the paper would avoid potential conflicts or friction by assigning she said to an outside reviewer, Times spokesperson Danielle Rhodes Ha said, in an email, we don't confirm what we may or may not publish or review. But, she added, we typically enlist an outside contributor to review films or books connected to Times staffers. Typically, but not always. Times editors were directly, if concisely, portrayed in True Story, a 2015 new Regency slash Fox Searchlight film in which Jonah Hill played Michael Finkel, a Times Magazine contributor who was dumped for using a composite character in an article, only to find his own identity later adopted by a killer, P. Scott briefly reviewed that one, finding it fuzzy, lazy and thoroughly declawed. He wasn't quite as brief as editor Jill Abramson, who, on learning that the producers had been filming on an upper floor of the building that houses the Times, growled, in actual editor speak, not movie talk, Rupert Murdoch. In 2006, the Times took a half-in, half-out approach to wordplay, after Creedon's documentary about the paper's crossword puzzle operation.